the 24 hour dopamine detox. What is it? What are the benefits? How does it work? And is it really worth your time? So Nick here, the founder of Rewire and Recover. And this video today is gonna to be for anybody who needs a little bit more focus in their lives. Maybe you pick up a book, you try and read it, the words don't quite come in, you're picking up your phone, you can't focus for half an hour. Or, once you finish work for the day, rather than working on your business, you're putting Netflix on and binge watching your show all evening. We know we should be doing more, we know we should be expanding our brains, working on our businesses, trying to get more time or financial freedom, but we can't help but fall into this trap of doing things that will not benefit us. And why is that, you may ask? I mean, there's something in us called dopamine. It's something our brain actually releases. It's a reward chemical. So for those who don't know what dopamine is, basically when you do something that feels good, it could be having a bite of a burger, it could be for a smoker to light up a cigarette, could be for a drug addict to inject drugs into them. You know, they're getting giving their body something that feels good. And the problem of that is the more they give it, the more they need to give it in the future to get that same high. The brain becomes accustomed to that. And then all of a sudden, things that don't release these kind of dopamine benefits, like reading a book, working on our businesses, don't seem to satisfy us. We'd rather choose option A over option B, even though we know option B is gonna take us somewhere in the future and give us a better quality of life. So to put it in simple terms to the people of today, I pull out my phone, I go on Instagram, I put a post out, I'm getting a couple of likes here and there, and I'm trying to then put my phone away, do some work, but all of a sudden my subconscious brain's telling me, check your phone, see who's posted, see who's liked your comment. I pull it out again and the cycle repeats. We can't focus on what we should be doing. And the problem these days is too much is available at our fingertips. So we've got online internet, you know, we can go and browse stuff, we can find videos, we can shop, we can gamble, we can watch porn. There is too much available at the click of a button, too many distractions to pull us away from the things we know we should be doing. So guys, I'm gonna be undertaking the 24 hour dopamine detox. I'm basically gonna become a bit of a Buddhist monk. I'm going off the grid. I'm gonna lock my phone away, it's going off. There's gonna be no laptop, no TV, absolutely no distractions. I'm gonna also be in no bad food, just drinking water, no music, no uh, masturbation, absolutely nothing that ever feels good. I'm gonna give it all up for the day. And I'm, all I'm gonna have, guys, is really, for tomorrow, I'm gonna read a book all the way through. I'm gonna be working on my gratitude lists. I'm gonna have a pen and a paper to uh, journal all my thoughts. I'm gonna meditate. I'm gonna go on a nice long walk. I'm gonna exercise a couple of times. I'm basically spending the day doing things for myself without any distractions. And if the research I've been doing is correct, it should help me rewire my brain and make me less dependent on dopamine. So if you can't get through these 24 hours, guys, then you know you've got a serious problem. The reason I'm doing it, I just wanna know what happens when I press that reset button. You know, How am I gonna feel? Is it gonna be worth it? Is it gonna help me be able to focus more on my business, on my education, on my learning? It's gonna give me more time, more financial freedom. Let's find out. So guys, I made it. I'm a 28 year old man living in 2020 and I survived a day without technology. <laughs> Pretty crazy, right? But no guys, seriously, I learned so much and had such a powerful experience during my time. I'd set myself the tasks of making sure I meditated, went on a nice walk, did some exercise, read a book, um, you know, so I'm going to talk to you about my day, how I found the experience and ultimately if it's worth it for you guys. So I woke up at seven o'clock in the morning, like I always do every day. Um, even on the weekend, it was my day off. I always wake up as part of routine and I can never really relax and sleep. So rather than reaching straight for my phone, 
scrolling on that blue screen, I laid in bed, focused on my mindset, thought about my life, what I wanted to achieve today and why I was doing it. I actually then managed to relax myself and go back to sleep. And I actually woke up again at 11 o'clock. So I had a sleep like I'd never had in a long time and I obviously needed it. So I felt very fresh and woke up awake afterwards. Um, I then meditated for half an hour. So that's with no music. I just was able to switch off, focus on my breathing and switch off from that world and go silent and really hone into my thoughts. I then did that for half an hour. I went on a lovely walk, no music in, like I'd normally wear my headphones. I went round my local parks, part of nature, hearing the birds sing, it was beautiful. And then I come back, I started reading my book, actually. I opted for a different book in the end than I showed you earlier. I went for Chimp Paradox, an amazing book by the way, all about how we are in our brains normally have a, a chimp part of our brain which reacts four times quicker than our human emotion brain uh, something I could do with a little bit of work on at times so it was really tune, uh, really good to tune in and read that book and actually focus on it because I'm the type of guy who normally picks up a book and read it for 10-15 minutes then picks up the phone or gets distracted by something else and then switches off or the words just don't go in so I was able to work through that book in two stages I did a couple of hours, read 100 pages, then I broke to clean my room, have a proper detox in the room, and I went back to finish the book off. As well as that, I then did a workout in between as well, so the whole day was doing jobs that I don't normally enjoy, such as wouldn't release dopamine, um, but I found it a lot easier. I don't think no, if it was just because I knew I was switching off and there wasn't distractions, but I could read the book for two or three hours in a sitting and and focus you know it's something I hadn't been able to do in a long time so and at the end last two hours of my fast which was between 8 to 10 p.m. I'll say 9 to uh, 8 to 10 yes yeah, sorry maths went a bit there uh, I was able to then switch off and just journal my thoughts and think about my future and what I'd learned from this process so one of the top things that I learn is that I spend too much time with technology distractions I don't know if you're like me, you have your phone in your pocket at all the times, you're at the dinner table, maybe you're not being rude and eating while you're eating and using your phone at the same time, but when the dinner's done, you're checking your phone, you're messaging, you're picking up work contracts, you're not switching off. So I'm making sure I have a couple of hours in the evenings every day where I either work on my business, I work on my self-development, or I read a book. And during this time, my phone's gonna go off for two hours, locked away, out of sight, out of mind as well as that I realized maybe I should spend more time with my close family and loved ones not just over the phone but more in person to make those memories and I need a lot more structure to my day so I've devised a little bit of a timetable and something I've personally come out with um, is that I'm not going to do this every single week where I switch off I am going to delete my social media apps every Friday until Sunday off my phone so I don't go on Facebook or Instagram that's going to be a nice switch off for the weekend because a lot of my business is on Facebook as well, so I always have those constant reminders. I can never really switch off uh, to spend time with my loved ones and my family. Uh, but another thing I'm really gonna start doing is just saying for every hour I spend doing a task that I don't normally enjoy, like cleaning, working out, working on myself, reading a book, I'm gonna reward myself with 15 minutes of doing a task that I enjoy, like binging on Netflix or playing a bit of PlayStation. So I'm gonna reward myself. I'm not gonna just say that I'm only gonna do tasks that I doesn't don't release dopamine for me as much, but I'm gonna reward myself with small doses based on the work that I have put in. So I've really found a lot from this experience, guys. I would recommend that anybody tries it who finds that they use their phone every day, they've got a lot of distractions, they struggle to like work on themselves and read books. So this is gonna be a great exercise for you to find yourself. If you have a, a partner or any kids in the house, it might be a bit more difficult, but you can make sure everyone turns their phones off, switches them off, and you're only allowed to talk to each other and have no use of technology. So I think that was the biggest part for me of this. I did do other things like, I said like no healthy, no bad eating and so on, but the main thing for me was the technology switch off. So I would def def definitely recommend this task to do it yourself, to document what you feel. 
And if there's anything else you'd like to share with me or ideas you'd like me to try, keep emailing in or putting it in the comments and I'll try something for you guys soon. So it's been a real pleasure and take care.